In mathematics, Poisson's equation is a partial differential equation of elliptic type with broad utility in electrostatics, mechanical engineering and theoretical physics. It is used, for instance, to describe the potential energy field caused by a given charge or mass density distribution. The equation is named after the French mathematician, geometer, and physicist Simeon Denis Poisson. Statement of the equation Poisson's equation is where is the Laplace operator, and f and phi are real or complex valued functions on a manifold. Usually, f is given and phi is sought. When the manifold is Euclidean space, the Laplace operator is often denoted as 2 and so Poisson's equation is frequently written as in three-dimensional Cartesian coordinates. It takes the form when we retrieve Laplace's equation. Poisson's equation may be solved using a Green's function. A general exposition of the Green's function for Poisson's equation is given in the article on the screen Poisson equation. There are various methods for numerical solution. The relaxation method, an iterative algorithm, is one example. Newtonian gravity. In the case of a gravitational field G due to an attracting massive object of density ρ, Gauss's law for gravity in differential form can be used to obtain the corresponding Poisson equation for gravity. Since the gravitational field is conservative, it can be expressed in terms of a scalar potential phi. Substituting into Gauss's law obtains Poisson's equation for gravity. Using Green's function, the potential at distance r from a central point mass m is electrostatics. One of the cornerstones of electrostatics is setting up and solving problems described by the Poisson equation. Solving the Poisson equation amounts to finding the electric potential phi for a given charge distribution. The mathematical details behind Poisson's equation in electrostatics are as follows. Starting with Gauss's law for electricity in differential form, we have, where is the divergence operator, d equals electric displacement field, and rho f equals free charge density. Assuming the medium is linear, isotropic, and homogeneous, we have the constitutive equation, where epsilon equals permittivity of the medium and E equals electric field. Substituting this into Gauss's law and assuming epsilon is spatially constant in the region of interest obtains. In the absence of a changing magnetic field, B. Faraday's law of induction gives, where is the curl operator and T is time. Since the curl of the electric field is zero, it is defined by a scalar electric potential field. The derivation of Poisson's equation under these circumstances is straightforward. Substituting the potential gradient for the electric field directly obtains Poisson's equation for electrostatics, which is Solving Poisson's equation for the potential requires knowing the charge density distribution. If the charge density is zero, then Laplace's equation results. If the charge density follows a Boltzmann distribution, then the Poisson-Boltzmann equation results. The Poisson-Boltzmann equation plays a role in the development of the Debye-Huckel theory of dilute electrolyte solutions. Using Green's function, the potential at distance r from a central point charge Q is. The above discussion assumes that the magnetic field is not varying in time. The same Poisson equation arises even if it does vary in time, as long as the Coulomb gauge is used. In this more general context, computing phi is no longer sufficient to calculate T, since E also depends on the magnetic vector potential A which must be independently computed. See Maxwell's equation in potential formulation for more on phi and A in Maxwell's equations and how Poisson's equation is obtained in this case. Potential of a Gaussian charge density if there is a static spherically symmetric Gaussian charge density where Q is the total charge. Then the solution phi of Poisson's equation is given by where Earth is the error function. This solution can be checked explicitly by evaluating. Note that, for R much greater than sigma, the Earth function approaches unity and the potential phi approaches the point charge potential, as one would expect. 
Furthermore, the Earth function approaches one extremely quickly as its argument increases. In practice, for r greater than 3 sigma, the relative error is smaller than 1 part in a thousand. Surface reconstruction. Poisson's equation is also used to reconstruct a smooth 3D surface based on a large number of points by where each point also carries an estimative, the local surface normal knee. This technique reconstructs the implicit function f whose value is zero at the points by and whose gradient at the points by equals the normal vector's knee. The set of is thus a sampling of a continuous vector field v. The implicit function f is found by integrating the vector field v. Since not every vector field is the gradient of a function, the problem may or may not have a solution. The necessary and sufficient condition for a smooth vector field v to be the gradient of a function f is that the curl of v must be identically zero. In case this condition is difficult to impose, it is still possible to perform a least squares fit to minimize the difference between v and the gradient of f.